Hi, this is Mary over at Linda's Ease, the store manager. And Hello. And Miss Madeline are my camera woman. Don't forget about me. I didn't. I was doing that. And Madeline and I are here today to show you the Burnett 38. It's of Swiss design. Madeline, why don't you come around to the front side so we can show them what this beautiful machine looks like. This is the Burnett 38 Swiss designed machine. And take a look at this, Madeline. Isn't it gorgeous? That's beautiful. So it comes with a hard shell cover case, which a lot of machines do not come with the case. This is my accessory tray. All of my feet over here can oh, cool. fit into that, along with my buttonhole. It is an automatic buttonhole. So you just measure the button, put the button in there, and make a buttonhole, and you learn all about that in our free classes that come with this machine. This slides off, and my accessory tray slides on. That is big. And I have big. support, yes. And so look I at, support. I don't know if you could see all the wonderful numbers. Oh, the markings, the markings. Yes. oh my gosh. So we have it both in inches and in metric for those of us who are still using the metric or. Look at those great, there's some of the accessories like the you get. So that's great that that comes with it. So it's a nice solid machine. We have automatic bobbin winding, okay. We have a drop-in bobbin in this case, which means that you can actually see when the bobbin is going to run out. Very handy. No more guessing and trying to fiddle down below, although that's a nice system too. We have a lot of stitches. These aren't just the only stitches here. No? No. There's Look more. Look at this. Look at this. We have a little hidey hole. Ooh. And we have a little book with our different stitches. Look at this. We've got a lot of utility stitches, decorative stitches, and these are seven millimeter wide, Madeline. Oh my. And then we also have an alphabet, two alphabets, actually three different alphabets. Look at how handy that is. So oh it's my not goodness. for hooped embroidery, but for making a little label for inside the t-shirt collar. There you if go. The kids are oh, going to camp or something like that. Very nice. Mm -hmm. It is, I think I mentioned, a seven millimeter machine. So I can change my zigzag right over here. I can change my zigzag very easy to go to a seven millimeter. Okay, I might want to increase that width there. And it has a lot of power. And get this, it also has a scissor cutter. Oh. Do I see a needle threader on there as you well? You see a needle threader, How yes handy. you do. Oh Very my goodness. easy to use. There's my needle that threader. That went through a lot of fabric there. I think I went through six layers of flannel right Somebody there. Somebody can use and make a mask on this. Yes, they could. <gasps> wow. Yes, they could. Oh. I have needle up, needle down. I have the scissor cut. I have a twin needle safety feature. I have so many features on this machine. Oh, speed control. We have speed control. Yeah. We have memory, so we can put a stitch sequence into memory. Very we handy. We have what's called... Um, Reverse? No, we have reverse, thank you. We can flip our stitches. Oh, wow. All right, so we can make them go the opposite way. It's such a nice machine. Hi, everyone. It's Linda from Linda's Ease in Arlington Heights and my camera lady, Debbie, today. Hello. <laughs> now, we're going to start by um, hoping that you're all well. I know that you're having some fun. And you know when you're sewing, there's nothing wrong, right? You zone out everything and you can kind of really have a good time. And that's what we're here to do today, to inspire you to take a little time for yourself and do something really fun. <laughs> so our recipe of the day is from my 12 year old grandson, whose name is Oscar. Now Oscar has had to fend for himself quite a bit because his mother is um, Debbie's sister, Tracy. And she is working very hard as we all are. And so now Oscar is cooking dinner last night. And so when he made the dinner, what he wanted to do is share it with us because he saw that we were doing recipes. So guess what the recipe is? Steak 
dinner. <laughs> so, so bear with us, it's kind of a fun thing. We would love to have more of your recipes, so send them to us because they, people have said over and over they love to see those little recipe cards. So send them, it's just a fun little thing we wanna see every day. So our next thing to do is go and see what the quilt of the day is. And this is really a fun one. And Debbie, can you remember the name? It's uh, the... It's the Garden, oh, garden, garden of Sheridan <laughs> Hollow. Oh, is it pretty? So that is from the Benertex family of fabrics. And it's beautifully quilted. Wow, I love that. I did not do that one. Someone else had a lot of fun with those uh, feathers across the border, all around the border. You can see it in the Very back. pretty. Yeah, pretty with yeah the you can blue. see the, 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 yeah. the details of the quilting on the yeah. back. So yeah, so it's called the Garden of Sheridan Hollow. It's and pretty easy. Yeah, you know, it's not, not super big and yeah. uh, it'd be a really beautiful uh, Each block is quilt for just a very simple a, one. A baby shower or something like that. Yeah, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it'd be it? wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what we're going to do, I have something underneath this quilt, but I'm going to save it for a minute because okay. in the meantime, I want to start with showing you some technique. I had a lot of questions about pressing. Now, if you remember, I have another pressing um, pad that is uh, around here somewhere, and it is a smaller one. This is my real big one that I use when I'm doing a quilt. And I do not press the edge of the binding until I am finished with the quilt. I never want a big, long crease on this because this is, and you can see, I've got my mm -hmm. Laura Star here, and I'm gonna press the, see how the seam is coming out? I'm gonna go through this hose so that it will give me a real nice press. And you can see, see that nice steam? And I do this all the way across, and you can see I can do it, it'll take about two times on this side, and then I'll come back, and this is that beautiful black, black diamond. diamond. Yeah. <laughs> this is, and who's, uh, this is Kay's. Um, From Wilmington Prince, yes, Wilmington. this is the fabric, yep. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, Kay I, England made this You know, I hesitated to show this, because I know we only have a few kits left, but uh, when this is all over, we'll get more kits made up. So if somebody really wants this kit, you better move on it because it's really <laughs> beautiful. I think it's one of the prettiest ones that we've ever seen. Absolutely. And you can see now I pressed this corner real nice. And once I've done that pressing, I never have to do that again. This is just for you to really set the quilt so the borders and everything are really nice. So I'm going to hold it up again because I think it's oh my really goodness. pretty. So beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yep. Yeah. No, Hard. It's, it's very big, but it's side. very, very pretty. It'd be a beautiful, beautiful quilt for a bed, yeah, mm -hmm. a bedroom. Now, this is this one. I also wanted to show you the quilt that I had finished, and this was the little blast off. That you finished pressing. And I finished pressing. Right? And we and finished can the binding. Can you see the difference? Can you see how the edges are really, really firmly pressed? See how nice they look? Whoops, sorry, keep moving. Yes, they do. Okay, see how nice that looks? Mm -hmm. Gives you a real good idea of, and this is the child's quilt. And what I, I don't know if I've mentioned Big it before, or small. But, oops, mm -hmm. and your, your rocket is blasting into the ground. Yeah, and this not is into the, sky. the other thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> upside down. And what's really cool about this is that this fabric is glow in the dark. Yes. And it really does glow because I was actually Should we try? Um, Turn the doing this and <laughs> No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> and it really was glowing. I mean it was I thought, what in the world? Where is that light? At coming the store from? we had people go into the ladies' room with their and turn the light off to see uh, that glow. And they were they would come out smiling. It was pretty funny. Now, I wanted to show this too, because this is what I see a lot of people doing. If you remember, that's that really pretty house one, and I don't even remember the name of this. Do you remember, Debbie? Um, it's written on the on the panel in the center, the oh, name of it is. Okay, it's called um, the um, Play Kisses Happy Smiles. No, no. <laughs> My Little Sunshine. Oh, My Little Sunshine. Uh -huh. But the reason I wanted to show this, because here's what I see a lot of people doing. They go and press this real hard. I did this so you could see it. And you see the difference? Before how, they sew it down, right. you mean? Oh, and yeah, you no. see how, cri how crisp that is? Now, that is not what we want to do. Now it's going to be harder to hand hem this when you do it, because I do all of these, uh, and I like to hand hem them. So if this hadn't been pressed, in, like the be other better, ones, yeah, be it would have really, really been a better way to do it. So I hope that helps a little bit and gives you some ideas. And don't hesitate to email, because I do try to answer most of them. 
and I'd love to hear from you. <clears throat> so let's go on and show a little another little technique. We've had um, Debbie showing you before. This is the Juki um, QVP uh, 18. 18. And I love this machine, um, but she I'm loves it because I know Haruka. you own it. <laughs> yeah. And she does her piecing. Now, it is a straight stitch machine. But, but we have a piece of leather here right now. Yeah, and that's what is... We're not piecing leather. Now, can I show them underneath? What's oh, the yeah, of course. Yeah, the surprise. Uh, <laughs> this is, is a, hide. a leather hide. And we have about, oh, I don't know, four or five of these left in the store. They're absolutely wonderful for people that are making purses. We have a lot of people that are using these. Make whatever. Like, you can make a, a, a vest. A vest would be gorgeous or a skirt or mm -hmm. whatever. But it is a leather piece, and they're very, very reasonable. And you'd have to call the store and have them show them to you um, so they can show you what's left. But I wanted to show you the strength of the machine. So what I'm going to do now, I've done a whole bunch of stitches already, and you can kind of see it going through. You're going faster than that. She's going good. She's now very I'm, slow. Well, I'm, I am <laughs> slow compared to her. Okay, now see what I just did with my heel? I clicked on that, and what it did is it cut it. Cut the scissors. It, yeah. I so mean, it cut the thread. <laughs> so look at look at how beautiful that stitch is. It just, and look how thick this is. I mean, quite frankly, I had to do it ahead of time. Now, do you want me to do it real fast? No. <laughs> okay. Be careful. I'm going to try it real fast. Oh, wow. And then when I get to the end. Awesome. And lift okay. the foot up. Look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. Really, I mean, there isn't really good. another machine that would do something quite like that. But what a lot of people use this for is actually piecing rather than, you know, M bags. And, and these days I'm making masks. Now, I wanted to do a quick little um, summary of some things for you for um, notions because we have a lot of people that we talk to that are beginning sewers. And they really don't know what we're talking about when we do this map type of thing. And I, I think it's really important. I would start always, I, I don't think anybody should be without this size mat. It's the 18 by 24. Mm -hmm. And it's just a real good mat. And let me show you why. It's a poster select. Now, don't do this with your regular old mats at home. You see what I'm doing here? Now, watch what happens. Comes just back down relaxes and comes back Show them down. both sides too, because it's really so, cool for lighter or darker fabrics. Yeah. You have two sides, two sides of it. Okay, cool. And not only do you have two sides like that, but you also have the numbers that go in both directions on all four sides. So you can see what you're cutting the numbers, the, the inches, the inch marks. Now, there's two rollers I'd suggest. This is the Quilter Select ruler, and it's got a little mat on one side. So when I hold it down, you see how it moves this? But I love this um, good measure quilt ruler because it has the lines going this way and this way, plus the pink in the middle. My two favorite rulers. This is one that's called Good Measure, and this is the Quilter Select. Quilter Select holds the fabric when you're doing it. The Good Measure, and you hold it with your finger. And watch when I'm cutting this. It's very, very easy. And you see how I held this with my index finger? And that way it didn't slip around at all. So both of these are wonderful little rulers. And then I'm gonna quickly cover some of these other things. Um, there are needles that are wonderful out there for these kinds of machines and other brands. And that is both the Class A and the Inspira. And of course, if you have a Bernina, you would wanna use your Bernina. But the Inspira, they have the Sharp, the Quilting, and the Universal. Universal, everybody should have. You buy two and you get one free. Um, these are for all other brands of machines, your Fof, your Viking, they're great for that, they're great for this little machine, and uh, all other brands are brother machines too. What are your scissors in over there? This is something new. Do you see how it, it just pops in there? Because these are heavy. I love these little stash holders for my regular scissors, but when I get my real big ones, and I think we only have them in blue, but they're absolutely fabulous. These are, of course, the zircles that I wouldn't be without. And you can see I've got a little purple one over here that's mm -hmm. really kind of fun to see. I brought in quickly because I wanted to show you a walking foot. A lot of people don't realize what a walking foot is. I'm going to get into that in another video, but I'm just going to show you quickly. This is the book that I would highly recommend for you to learn a walking foot. And most machines do have a walking foot available for them. They do. Now, the last thing is my... 
um, what I'm wearing. <laughs> you mm -hmm. saw this yesterday. You probably didn't see this. This is a little bit of bling, mm -hmm. which is fun with the crystals. And then I wanted to show you what I finished. And I don't know, Debbie, if they can get in this real close. You know, if you can close. show us. Sure, show us. <clears throat> but do you see how I finished Ooh. it? Just a little. It isn't an awful lot, but I think it's really fun. And that is what we call the Swarovski crystal. So this can be thrown in the washing machine and in the dryer. I turn it inside out and then it will really, really be great. Now, <clears throat> I said for some of the beginning sewers, I know a lot of you don't want to spend a lot when you're starting with a new machine. So I'm going to have Mary now show you a wonderful little burnette that uh, is really, really cool. And it's Swiss designed. Yeah. Okay. Take it away, Mary and Madeline. <laughs> 